Okay, so hello and welcome back to another Unity tutorial. Today's video is actually going to be one of the lectures from my recently released Udemy course on how to build a tower defense game in Unity. I know for some of you thinking about getting the course, you'd like to see what it's like before you get it, so maybe have a few taster episodes, so you can access those on Udemy, or at least a few of them, but I'm going to be uploading a few of them to YouTube too, just so you can see what it's like if you're considering purchasing it or not. Then later this week I'll be releasing a Steam video that I know plenty of you have been requesting from last week, so stay tuned for that as well. Without further ado, let's get into it. Hello everyone, and welcome to this lecture where we're going to be creating our level, okay? We'll be making the floor and the grass on top where the turrets can be placed, and then we'll be removing some grass for a path for enemies to take in a future lecture. We'll also be tweaking the lighting and post-processing and setting the background color so that we're ready to go and actually start building the game. So let's start by making the floor. If we head over to this top button on Pro Builder, the new shape tool, if we hold Alt and then click, we get this option, okay, to make a cube or some other shape, but we want a cube for our floor by 25 on the X, one on the Y, and 15 on the Z. If we press build and close the window, it's now made as a cube with those dimensions in the world, okay? Here it is. It looks pretty flat. We might want to add some color to it, and we also want to position it and the camera so that we can actually see it in our game. So let's start by assigning the material first. If we head over to our materials folder and make a new one by right click create material, call it mat underscore floor, and then we can assign it to the cube. Now we want to give it a texture. So if we click on this base map little circle and dot, and then unhide these hidden ones, and type grid, we get this grid box default, which comes with Pro Builder. We want to use this for now. It makes our lives much easier when seeing our game world because each square is actually going to be a part on the grid for where we can place turrets and where the enemies can move. We want to give it some kind of like mud or dirt color. Now it's up to you what you want to do here. I'm going to use this color, CF9551, okay, for the floor. And I'm gonna turn the smoothness down. And at the same time, I'm gonna to go to lighting. If you don't see this, go to window and rendering, light settings, okay. And what we want is we want to turn off fog. That makes it look a bit better. Obviously, if you don't quite like the color, then feel free to tweak it as much as you like over here. And then once we're done, we actually want to now uh, recenter the pivot because if we look by clicking on the cube, Okay, you'll notice we have a pivot down here, which is the origin of the, the shape. Now we want it to be right slap bang in the middle. So to do that, we'll press uh, Tools, Pro Builder, Object, Center Pivot. And now it's at the center. The only problem is by doing this, it moves the texture. So the texture now has kind of half off the side here and half off the side here. We want it to be lined up. Now luckily, it's 0.5 exactly off here and 0.5 exactly off here. So if we head over to the material that we made, we can add an offset, so we can do 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and now it fits perfectly. Now, as for the position of the floor, we want to put it at zero, minus 0, minus 0.5, zero. And the reason we do this is because of the center pivot being halfway in the middle, if we look down here, it's, it's kind of in the middle on this line halfway. It's 0 0.5 units from the top. And we want players and you know the different enemies and things to spawn on this flat surface, which is at a height of zero. So by putting this at a height of minus 0 0.5, if we make a new object, okay, new game object, and put it at 0, 0, 0, you'll see it is perfectly flat on the floor. It's aligned right here. So when we spawn in a new enemy, it will be spawned on top of the floor. Now, if we head over to the game window, you'll see there's the floor, but it's not really you know positioned where we want it to be. So let's click on the camera, because the camera is the problem here. It's got weird positions and rotations. So let's put it at 0 on the X. Then the height can be 13.5. We'll move it back 10 units to minus 10. And then we'll set the rotation to be 60 on the X, which is the tilt downwards. And then the other two tilts should be just zero, zero. Okay, and now here we are looking at our ground. The next thing to do is to change the background color because I don't like this gray void. So let's go over to the camera, change this to be from skybox to solid color, and then change the color to be whatever you want. So I'll be using this color from earlier. Okay, so if I click back on the camera and paste this in, that's my color. Feel free to mess around and pick whatever color you want for your background, okay? That's up to you. Then if you want, you can mess around with post-processing. You can tweak the vignette to make kind of a dark ring, or you can do whatever you like, okay? It's up to you. Just mess around with these settings as much as you like. And now we need to make some grass. So the easiest way to do this, because it's an object we're going to need in a lot of the places, is to make what's called a prefab, which is a template that we can keep spawning in. And if we make a change to the prefab, it changes all instances of the prefab. So to do this, we'll go back to scene view because it's easier. And we'll call the floor, floor first, so rename that floor. 
and then we can create a new empty game object, okay? And this is going to be our grass. So let's call it grass. And we'll make ourselves a prefabs folder to make our life easier. Okay, prefabs. Inside there, we'll drag and drop the grass. So now we've got a grass prefab and it's gone blue. If we were to delete this and drag it back in, it's back again, okay? Now, let's just reset this. Head over to the prefab and reset this. We're ready to go now to actually create the grass. So this root object is going to be where we have a box collider. This will be used much later on in the series when we want to actually place turrets on the grass. We need something to say, this is the hitbox of the grass. This is where you can drag and drop the turret to actually let go and have it be placed here. So we want this to be quite small and thin. So we want the size to be 0 0.8, 0 0.2, 0 0.8, and then the actual position to be moved uh, up slightly to 0 0.1. So now for the grass visuals, what we want to do is we want to select the grass and make a new cube just by tapping the new shape object. Okay, come over here. And what we want to do is we want to change this. Now you see this number one, this is the snap value. We want to use point 0.1, okay? It allows us to now select the face tool, click on the top of our object, and we want to make it the size of 0 0.1 on the height. So if we bring it down to here, it's now 0 0.1. Just It says it's like slightly off, but it is 0 0.1, just don't worry. And then change this to be 0 0.8. So what we can do is we can push in each side slightly. Okay, push that in and push that in there. Okay, so I know it looks weird, but it's 0 0.8, 0 0.1, 0 0.8. And now if we go to object like we did earlier, tools, pro builder, object, center pivot. There's the pivot. And now we can set the position here to be 0 0.05, and zero. Okay, so now we have our grass, and then this bit here is going to be the visual part. So we can just say, let's make a new material for it, mat underscore grass. I'm going to go in here and paste my color code I have for it. Okay, if you want access to this, here it is, it's 47AB41, and I'll turn down the smoothness. And here we have our grass. Okay, the hitbox is slightly bigger than the grass, and this is so that when we're hovering over it, you know, this is the area in which when we when we drag and release our mouse click, it will select this one as our turret placement. While we're here, we'll make sure on the grass that it's set to be trigger, so things don't physically collide with it, and then we'll call this grass underscore visuals. If we head back over into Unity now, we're basically ready to go. All we need to do is make lots of these all over the place. If we change the snapping back to one, Okay, and zoom out. You can actually drag this into the corner and you can duplicate it and drag it down again and drag it down again, just keep duplicating, okay? So once you've done one row, you can then obviously duplicate the entire row and start putting that across, however you want to do it, okay? There might be better ways than this, but this is the way that I found easiest to do. If I now hold shift and select them all and duplicate, okay, I can then drag along, duplicate again. I don't know why it keeps jumping up and down. It's just the order in which it duplicates. It's not really that important, okay? Once you've got a few like this, you can then select the bottom one, shift select the top one, duplicate, okay, and just start moving the entire thing across, and you'll be done in no time. So now for these extra ones I've got, I'm just going to select the final one, and shift up until I've gone, okay, I've gone too far, let's go down a bit, and oh, that's perfect, let's delete them. And here we have our floor. Let's select all of them, okay, and call them all just, just grass, it doesn't really matter, okay, grass. And we'll make an empty game object to contain them in because our hierarchy is now a big mess. We want a folder for these. So if we go to the plus, make an empty game object, reset it to be at 0, 0, 0. And now we can just call this basically grass. Let's select everything else from the grass. Okay, let's go get this, drag down, shift select grass, and just drop it in grass. And now it's moved up to the top because it's the parent. We hide it. And there we go. We've got grass and our hierarchy is not a mess anymore. So now to actually build a path, it's completely up to you, so I'm going to skip this part. Just select the grass you don't want, so for example, let's say I want to go here for mine, okay? All we need to do is just press it and then press delete. And if you want to do lots at once, just keep holding shift, select loads, press delete, okay? Go through and build your path, okay? And there is my level, okay? This is where the path's going to be. So I've decided to have a spawner there, a spawner there, and an end here, and an end here. So these two guys can meet up on this path, they come down it, and then at this end they split both ways, and they have to get to here or here, so you've got to defend two places from two spawners. That's it for this video, we've now set up our level so we can start creating enemies. Thanks everyone for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you're considering getting the course and the link is down below, you can go watch the promo video and check more out about it. But yeah, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time, and goodbye.